Y'all, I'm fixing to share with y'all a recipe that I've had so long. Uh, and I made this so long ago, and it's still one of my favorite soups. And it's my daughter-in-law, Claudia's favorite soup of ever. So when I get through making this, I'm gonna run that over to her uh, because she loves it. And this is so simple to make, y'all. I'm making a tomato dill soup. And of course, y'all know that uh, we don't have fresh tomatoes this time of year, not the good Georgia tomatoes. So. Uh, I love using, um, oh, <laughs> I love using crushed tomatoes, but uh, I see that, that Teresa bought diced, so that's probably what the recipe called for. Let's see. Well, it really didn't say in my, in my uh, menu directions. Uh, because this is from my very first cookback book that I ever wrote. Uh, but this is the one that I self-published. So anyway, I love using, let's see if I can find some. I think I have some somewhere. No, I don't see them. But you can get tomatoes diced. Hey, Mikey, come on in. You can get them diced or, uh, what did I say? Crushed. <laughs> Crushed. <laughs> My, I'm just, I got distracted with Michael coming in from work. How are you? Good, you? I'm good. I'm making you some soup. Good. Okay, so the crushed are so much better than the diced because no matter how long you cook these, it's like they won't break down for some reason. Uh, but these are, these are fine to use as well. All right, so uh, I'm gonna put all this in my pot. Now this recipe calls for two piece, two cups of uh, chicken stock. So, you know, I told you I don't like using that boxed. It's so flavorless. So I'm gonna make my own chicken stock using this better than bouillon wet base. So one teaspoon equals an eight ounce cup of chicken broth. And I've got this water real hot so that it will, it will melt the chicken base. And I'm using a reduced sodium because this stuff is very, very salty, y'all. So I kind of recommend using the low sodium because you can always, you know, add add your salt to it. But I just want that to dissolve a little bit. Just a little, little bit. And then I'm gonna uh, turn my eye on over here on about medium. And I'm gonna throw my onions in the pot. And I'm gonna throw my garlic in the pot and I'm gonna put a little butter and I'm gonna just cook this until you know they kind of get opaque opaque or kind of clear looking so that will take but a minute and um, so we'll have our crushed tomatoes, our wine, our lemon pepper. I believe this is, yeah. I love that lemon pepper. It's so good. It, and it just, that little bit of lemon flavor is just really, really good in this soup. And of course, then I got my fresh dill, which, and if you don't care for dill, you can substitute dill for fresh basil. So tomato basil soup is really good too. It's just a preference, you know, on whatever suits your tongue. And then we've got cream over here. We've got uh, fresh grated Parmesan cheese and we've got parsley. So we'll put that all in at the end of the cooking time. But we're gonna let all these things cook for about 30 minutes. 
and um, so we should be, yeah, the, the butter's melting over here, y'all. You know, I could not have picked a better day to share with y'all my dill, uh, my tomato dill soup because it, we've got that nip in the air here, don't we? And that breeze, when you go out there, when that wind's blowing, it'll cut you in too, even though it's not like 24 degrees, like some of y'all poor folks have it. No, more 50 degrees, Philip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, 50 degrees, and y'all are ready to go swimming, aren't you? All right, so you can see, because we use diced tomatoes, they just won't cook down, which is, you know, okay. But like I said, I usually use crushed tomatoes. But since we didn't, that's an easy fix. So it depends on how you like your soup. Do you like it smooth or do you like it chunky? If you like it chunky, you'll find this one perfect. But I kind of uh, like mine more on the smoother side. So I'm just going to pull some of those tomatoes out and I'm going to put them in the blender and uh, just blend those up a little bit and I'm probably not going to take all of the tomatoes out. I'm going to see how this works out and then I wonder if this has a certain way to sit up there on that thing, Eddie. I think it, it, it think just it locks does. in. It, okay. It won't stop. Well. <laughs> okay. That's nice and smooth. Yeah, that's good. So yeah. then we'll have a little bit of both ways. You just see a chunk of a chunk of tomato. So I'm gonna take this back to the stove. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna cut this back on. And now it's time for us to add our cream, our Parmesan cheese, and our parsley. I would actually like to taste this so I can correct my seasonings. I think that's pretty good. In fact, I think it's real good. I get a little taste uh, twang from the wine. I get a little taste of the lemon from uh, the lemon pepper. And I think I'm gonna add maybe just a pinch because remember we used the sodium, low sodium chicken base. So I can, I've got room for a little kosher salt because these things are gonna weaken it back down too. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add our parsley. And look how pretty that makes it. Mixes in there with that dill. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And now I'm going to add my heavy cream. And see that beautiful salmon color that that cream gets us down to? Just beautiful. And now we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. And I like to serve this with a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of it, you know, after you dip it up. And of course, you've got to have a piece of hot French bread. A loaf of French bread, butter it, put it in the oven and get it nice and hot and serve that along with this soup. You'll like it, I promise. And what's nice about this recipe 
is it doesn't make so much that it takes you weeks to get rid of it. <laughs> it gets eaten up really, really quick. And then I'm gonna give it one other taste since I've added the cream, the Parmesan cheese, and the parsley. So I'm gonna see if it needs anything else. Yep, needs something else. My two lips. <laughs> Loving best dishes, y'all. Silly Paula. <laughs>